it would be wonderful, as we were discussing just a little while ago, if NATO and our country could get along with Russia. Right now, we're not getting along with Russia at all. We may be at an all-time low in terms of uh, relationship with Russia. This is built for a long period of time. Putin is the leader of Russia. Russia is a strong country. It's vicious and violent. And everybody in this room saw it all too many times over the last three or four days. Young children dying, babies dying, fathers holding children in their arms that were dead, dead children. Uh, there can't be a worse sight. What if I told you that perhaps the biggest news story of the year so far has been completely ignored or, better put, covered up by the mainstream media? No doubt our audience wouldn't be totally surprised by that revelation. However, I think the average person on the street would be totally shocked to find out that Russian President Vladimir Putin believes a war between Russia and the United States and its NATO allies is imminent. Diplomatic relations have deteriorated, and NATO's deployment of anti-missile systems in Europe is a direct violation of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, the INF, between Russia and the United States. And that's because these anti-missile systems that NATO is putting on Russia's borders can easily and quickly be repurposed or converted to facilities capable of firing short and mid-range missiles. In a meeting with foreign press just last month, Vladimir Putin left no one in any doubt that the world is heading down a course which could lead to a nuclear war. We know year by year what's going to happen, and they know we know. It's only you that they tell these fables and you buy it and spread it to the citizens of your countries. Your people do not feel a sense of the impending danger. This is what worries me. How do you not understand that the world is being pulled in an irreversible direction? That is the problem. But they pretend like nothing's going on. Uh, I don't even know how to get through to you people anymore. Now, this was probably one of the most important political speeches since the run-up to World War II. And most historians agree that we are seeing a lot of parallels right now to the start of World War I and World War II. Russia says the U.S. is making it more difficult for them to avoid the outbreak of large-scale conflicts. Vladimir Putin just signed a document declaring NATO a threat to their national security. He also says we are on the brink of war, and the fact that you are not hearing about any of this on the mainstream news shows just how controlled the media is. We are witnessing one of the most unstable times in human history. I urge you to put everything else aside just for a moment and watch this urgent newscast before it's too late. My name is Ken White, and I'm part of a vigilante group of survival scientists and combatants who teamed up to do everything humanly possible to save our fellow countrymen from the coming total destruction of our nation. My colleagues and I are ready to fight to the last man to ensure the survival of the American family. But there's no way of telling how successful our efforts will be. I can only pray this message reaches you in time before the bloodshed that will kill more than 281.8 million Americans is set in motion. Security experts and defense analysts warn that what's coming in the next five months or less will put an end to our civilization, throwing the U.S. into a new dark age where blood and fire will rule the streets. No radio stations, no medical services, no trash pickups, no subways, no newspaper delivery, no newspapers at all, no heat, no elevators, no water from the tap, no cell phones, no police cars, no food, 
no help. It's a real turkey shoot, and we're standing on the wrong side of the rifle. Our country's most valuable scientists and analysts, our military leaders, our policymakers are all quite familiar with the EMP and its terminal threat. An extensive study performed by the Congressional EMP Commission showed that critical systems in this country are alarmingly unprotected. You won't believe their predictions. They calculated that based on current realities, in the first year after a full-scale EMP attack, about two-thirds of the national population will die from starvation and disease. That's 200 million American bodies that will be left to rot all over the country. Talk about the, the, the danger that we face, as Newt Gingrich was alluding to. If there's an EMP attack, if, if Iran goes to the middle of the ocean with a nuclear weapon and launches it into space and, and it takes out our power grid, are we talking about possibility of 90% of, of Americans dying? Yes, that's what the Congressional EMP Commission concluded, that up to 9 of 10 Americans could die from starvation, disease, and societal collapse. Of course, we're an electronic civilization, and we, everything depends directly or indirectly upon electricity. You know, without electricity, there's no communications, no transportation, business and finance doesn't work, even food and water, you know, would not work and uh, or be available to the public. And so... It's a high-tech way of killing people the old-fashioned way through starvation uh, and disease and societal collapse. Just think about the horror that we'll have to endure because of our leader's ignorance. That's right. Our enemy is now making the final preparations to attack the United States before it's too late. It has often been said that 9-11 was a failure of our imagination. The fact is, we had warnings about terrorists flying airplanes into buildings. But we chose to ignore it. We decided not to go there. Pearl Harbor memos shows that the United States was warned of a Japanese attack, yet we did nothing. Last year, a sniper attacked and knocked out a substation in California, and it barely made the papers. The EMP threat falls into this category of denial. Our government fails to imagine it possible, even refuses to imagine it despite overwhelming evidence that it can and we believe will happen to one degree or another. Analysts at the Congressional Research Service claim the Russians have their leading physicists focusing on EMP and there's no reason to think otherwise given Russia's history of firsts in military science. In October 1962, the Soviets launched a warhead on an R-12 missile to test the effects of EMP on military systems. They would later report their shock at the magnitude of damage inflicted. And that was more than 60 years ago. Imagine where they are now with this doomsday technology. And from what you've seen so far, you know there's nothing or no one standing in their way when they decide to blow off America. Now back in the days of the Cold War, when we first learned about the physics of it all, our leaders were terrified by the prospect of an EMP attack against our country, and they kept trying to figure out reliable ways of protection. But once America won the war with the Soviet Union and tossed them into the dustbin of history, U.S. defense strategists, they relaxed and stopped thinking about the EMP. And they completely ignored what the Russians promised us then. In 1999, at a high-level meeting in Vienna, Vladimir Lukin, the chairman of the Duma's Foreign Affairs Committee, angry with American policy in the Balkans, issued the following threat. If we really wanted to hurt you with no fear of retaliation, we would launch a submarine-launched ballistic missile, and we would detonate a nuclear weapon high above your country and shut down your power grid. Another Russian official, Alexander Shabanov, smiled and said, and if that one doesn't work, we have plenty of spares. None of this is science fiction. It is science fact. Scientists calculated that a single high-altitude burst 200 miles above Kansas could spread an EMP pulse across the entire continental United States. 
and beyond the major city centers, the damage will be done in countless ways, large and small. A blast over Pittsburgh can rapidly turn to dust virtually all agriculture and bulk transportation east of the Mississippi and north of Tennessee. The big farms, dependent on power for everything from milking machines to harvesting combines, will silently shut down, starving our people. The power industry is the foundation of our American civilization. From the massive hydroelectric dams and their generators to the hundreds of thousands of miles of power lines that stretch across the continent. To the local substations, to the transformers that hang on the pole down the street from your house, to the breaker box in your basement. All of this will be rendered useless. The electronics we use today are so much more complex and interdependent that the danger of one failure triggering another is higher than ever. We all know America has many enemies, but out of them all, we have to fear the worst. Today, our enemy is more prepared and more desperate than ever. For 25 years, this fallen empire has constantly been shamed by the U.S. and its allies. But ever since Putin rose to power more than 15 years ago, Russia has been recuperating, covertly scheming new ways to get back into the game and take over the world. Its GDP doubled from oil exports, and for a while, Russia felt like a great power again, until the Ukrainian crisis broke out. And more than 50% of Russia's gas export was halted as the pipeline network that delivered the gas load to Europe was on Ukrainian territory. That's when Putin decided to play tough and demand almost double the gas price for the EU members who still depended on Russian energy. Threatening to cut off the gas supply if they didn't pay, this insane energy blackmail enraged the European Union, who found a way to reassure the member countries that world oil reserves from the U.S. and its allies will support a gas supply deficit for a full 90 days. The crash in oil prices in the 80s destroyed the Soviet Union and kick-started its ultimate collapse in 1991. But the crisis they are facing now is far worse than any country has ever experienced. Going to war against the world to reclaim their oil and gas supremacy is something they can no longer afford to do. They're already too poor for that. Their only chance to win back territory is if America and its energy sector suddenly fall to the ground with no means of getting back up for the next decade. If that doesn't happen somehow, Putin will have to find a way to keep 140 million Russian people from going hungry and from overthrowing him. And he knows very well, once he loses support of his own people, he's as good as dead. But considering Russia's financial situation, they can't afford a traditional war. But slick as he is, he also knows how to turn this to his advantage. You may have heard those rumors on independent media that Putin is not actually attacking ISIS rebels in Syria as he promised he would. And why would he, when he can use their fanaticism and greed to his own best interests? Разве вы не понимаете, кто там воюет? Там воюют наемники, в основном. Вы знаете, что там платят деньги? И они воюют там, где платят больше. Вот они вооружились, им платят ну, определенную сумму. Мне даже называли эти суммы, которые им платят. Они там воюют уже с оружием, все, у них уже не отнимешь. Потом выяснилось, что в другом месте чуть-чуть начали -чуть больше платить. Они там туда перетекут. It would be a piece of cake for Russia to pay small ISIS terrorist groups for setting off the smaller EMP attacks to turn off our interception systems, giving Russia enough time to steer their state-of-the-art submarine close enough to detonate the real EMP bomb. And considering how everybody hates ISIS and speculates that they are filthy rich from the oil trafficking across Syria, it will be a delight for Putin to blame the entire hit on them, while he will be the real winner of the situation. And although it may take a while for him to establish world supremacy, his primary goal, ensuring his survival and the supremacy of the Russian people, 
would have been accomplished brilliantly. Do you think our leaders would ever do the same to ensure our survival? Should we ever find ourselves in a situation such as Russia's? Do you think that the power plants across the country have the protection that they need? No, absolutely not. Uh, nuclear power plants, uh, particularly uh, uh, if hit by an electromagnetic pulse, uh, 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 would uh, melt down uh, before too long. And uh, you'd have uh, disasters emanating from the nuclear power plants as well as from a lot of other sources. If, if you take out by taking down the, the, the grid, if you take out uh, the electrical system, Everything else goes down, too. We have 18 critical infrastructures in the country, and 17 of them depend on electricity. So you lose your communication system, you lose transportation, you lose uh, your bank uh, teller uh, system for getting money. Uh, nothing works. And you were the head of the CIA. Our yes. enemies know all this, correct? I'm afraid they do. Uh, the Russians uh, have told us that they, uh, back in the early 90s, uh, told the North Koreans a great deal about how to uh, use an electromagnetic uh, pulse uh, detonation. Think of it like this. Right now, our situation is worse than Russia's because our leaders wouldn't do whatever it takes to keep danger at bay. And while our military's interception system is reduced to a deaf and dumb condition, a quiet submarine approaches our waters close enough to set off the final blow that sends America back to the Dark Ages. Because all it takes is just one missile with an EMP weapon attached to it to be detonated above the United States and the effects are irreversible. An EMP device strategically detonated at an altitude of 20 miles above land will permanently disintegrate our power grid and plunge America into silence and darkness indefinitely. Clogged streets, no public transport, grocery and convenience stores run out of food and emergency supplies before being completely torn down by hungry, desperate people. Financial systems crash, Wall Street, banks, ATMs, they're all cooked as the American economy drops offline. Hospitals all over the affected areas are scenes of chaos and carnage as backup generators and battery-powered systems slow down and die. Respirators, cardiac monitors, intravenous drip pumps, and dialysis machines all stop. Patients die, first by the scores, then by the hundreds, then by the thousands. Hordes of military police are deployed all over the country to maintain some sense of law and order, but they are soon overwhelmed by all the desperate people fighting for their lives. And they realize it's beyond their power to control this world quickly spiraling out of control. They will have to take the U.S. out with just one hit. So our only hope now is people like you and me, real Americans who care about our families and our lands and will do everything in our power to make sure we remain alive and proud. As I told you a few minutes earlier, I'm part of a team of scientists and survival experts who are willing to sacrifice everything to be able to deliver this right knowledge to all American families out there so that we as a nation may still have a future ahead of us. The people you saw in this presentation and a few more brilliant minds have gathered all of the crucial intelligence required to survive the coming mayhem. And we are now in a hurry to spread the word and save as many people as possible. Now, our own resources are depleting fast, but with the help from outstanding citizens like yourself and others, we've managed to keep this site up and running for now. But we don't know how long it is until our efforts are sabotaged by the ones who try to keep this hidden from the world, whether it is the Russian Secret Service or our own, who might try to take us down. As it may, now, at this very moment, 
you still have a chance to grab the life-saving information we put aside for you and use it to survive and thrive through the utter destruction of the American nation. We name this life-saving program Jumpstart Liberty because that's our promise to you and your loved ones. With the singular information gathered here, you can simply jumpstart your way to freedom and never fall prey to desperation, hunger, poverty, disease, and all the hell that will bestow upon our lands. Jumpstart Liberty will show you that having no industrialized energy production is not the end of the world. On the contrary, it can be the beginning of a new, even better existence. I kid you not when I say we will soon find a way, together, to use this situation to our own advantage and create new opportunities for us Americans while building strong bonds between us survivors. We will be the new force rising from the ashes of ancient America to build something better for us and for our children and their children's children. Jumpstart Liberty is the answer to keeping food from spoiling without a fridge and storing heat-sensitive medicine. Surprising places where you can find drinkable water, enough to sustain your family for months, even if you live in an arid region. Shielding your electronics from the EMP, using something far better and easier to build than a Faraday cage so that you can still use these electronics for life support when the worst will come to pass. The must-have medicine supplies that can get you through any disaster. How much to store and where. What guns and ammo you can't do without and how to use them wisely. Switching from bartering for survival to bartering for profit. Having the perfect mindset to be an inspiration for those around you so that you can make yourself understood fast and work together as a team at a high efficiency level. And much more. This is information you won't find anywhere else and it's been well organized and tested by our team's top scientists. Most importantly, I'll show you how to keep your family hidden and safe when the EMP strikes so that hungry and violent looters and invaders won't even notice your presence. You will be fully protected inside your house and no harm will come to you and your loved ones. You reap the life-saving information inside the Jumpstart Liberty program together with two free exclusive reports filled to the brim with powerful knowledge to help you survive the long night ahead. The Alternative Power Sources free bonus will show you why a bicycle-powered generator is better than a newer model running on gas, how to build a wooden stove and how to heat your home without using any fuel, how to make sure you have enough wood to last you all through the winter, and which type is the most cheap, easy to find, and with a high caloric power. In the Natural Antibiotics free bonus, you'll discover ways to treat infections using the most powerful natural ingredients that are sometimes even more effective than traditional pharmaceutical drugs and even better they don't have risky side effects. Plus a $57 value best gun choice that you get for free. This will show you how to ditch what you have now for the only gun that outperforms them all. You'll never quite run out of bullets for this one. And a warning it's deadlier and messier than an AA-2 automatic shotgun and it never backfires. Once you know how to choose the right weapon and how to use it when someone tries to attack you, you'll always be the one left standing. This is what will get you out when the military police come for your guns and there's no way they can see this coming. They'll run from your house covered in shame never to come back. They'll even try to cut a deal with you, and I'll share some of the tricks on how to make the best of this opportunity. 
and your lifelong savings will be completely safe from the financial system failure set off by the EMP when you gain access to the dirty money tricks that the elite have been using for decades to hide and protect their assets from the government. The Money Vault Survival Guide offers you the plans, resources, and skills in place that will allow you to turn the coming economic collapse to your advantage, including a simple bartering scheme that you can start using today to grow your riches in no time. You'll discover the never-ending bartering cycle and how to be one step ahead of the community's needs. So, forget about wasting thousands of dollars on useless long-term stockpiles. This one thing is more important than hoarding a metric ton of wheat. Few people know that in a crisis, items have a demand cycle just like the commercial products on the market. If you know how to smell the trends, you'll turn the cycle in your favor and never risk running out of something you desperately need. You will know how to barter a bottle of water for pounds and pounds of fresh meat. And since you grabbed your copy of Jumpstart Liberty, aside from these bonuses, you'll also be getting unlimited access to our members' support area, where you will benefit from all the support and information you'll ever need to survive and thrive in the coming apocalypse. This is where I and my team are ready to answer any questions at any time regarding your survival needs. We will be there to help you if you need any clarification on anything. Think about all the stuff you spend money on. All your preparations, the food and water you store, the guns you own, the home security systems, all of them can become useless in a matter of seconds after the EMP hits if you don't know exactly what to do. We've spent hundreds of days developing this one-of-a-kind course, and that's not counting the years of research we put in. You'll never have to spend money on any prepping materials anymore. Just think about the amount you're spending on food alone. The average stockpile for a family of four for only three months cost $1,600. That's just three months. If you truly want to be secure, you'll probably need a three-year supply, to say the least. But it can all go to waste if you don't know the right thing to do. And it's not only about the money. Think of all the time and effort you put into it. Don't be the one to lose it all in the blink of an eye. You deserve to outlive the coming disaster and be among those who witness the rebirth of our dear nation. The information contained inside is much more useful than what some expert preppers charge for their knowledge, which is $500 at the minimum for a one-week training course. But I have dedicated this website to the American family, and we need to join forces and keep this website up and functional so this vital information gets to the people who need it and who are willing to do whatever it takes to ensure the future of their children. I want to make sure each and every one of you have the chance to survive the coming Russian retaliation, and that is why I'm offering the Jumpstart Liberty program for only a small contribution of $39, because we want to be able to save as many Americans as we can. Because you live with yourself knowing you have received a powerful warning and you chose wrongly. Could you tell that to your wife and kids as the lights go out everywhere and panic sets in? When the EMP strikes, how much would you regret the choice you made today? Because right now you don't have that many options, but you still have a choice. Sure, you could easily dismiss our warning and go to sleep tonight without a care in the world and just forget about the two world wars and their millions of victims. Forget about Pearl Harbor, forget about 9-11, forget about ISIS and the nuclear EMP bomb. And pray to God you get out alive when all hell breaks loose. Or maybe you think there's enough time to start prepping on your own. Go search the libraries and drill the internet for reliable knowledge to help you and your loved ones survive the mother of all blackouts. But please be realistic 
and at least admit to yourself, it's no piece of cake. And the time you spend searching for solutions is prepping time that you waste. My friend, this is time you don't have. Survival is about action, and this is exactly what Jumpstart Liberty will do for you. It will allow you to take the right action in the short time you have left and provide you the only straightforward escape plan that enables you not only to survive, but even to thrive through the coming ruination. Today, there is still time to make the right choice. So God bless you, and God bless America. Please click the button below, and I'll meet you on the other side. reliable ways of protection. But once America won the war with the Soviet Union and tossed them into the dustbin of history, U.S. defense strategists, they relaxed and stopped thinking about the EMP. And they completely ignored what the Russians promised us then. In 1999, at a high-level meeting in Vienna, Vladimir Lukin, the chairman of the Duma's Foreign Affairs Committee, angry with American policy in the Balkans, issued the following threat. If we really wanted to hurt you with no fear of retaliation, we would launch a submarine-launched ballistic missile, and we would detonate a nuclear weapon high above your country and shut down your power grid. Another Russian official, Alexander Shabanov, smiled and said, and if that one doesn't work, we have plenty of spares. None of this is science fiction. It is science fact. Scientists calculated that a single high-altitude burst 200 miles above Kansas could spread an EMP pulse across the entire continental United States. And beyond the major city centers, the damage will be done in countless ways, large and small. A blast over Pittsburgh can rapidly turn to dust virtually all agriculture and bulk transportation east of the Mississippi and north of Tennessee. The big farms, dependent on power for everything from milking machines to harvesting combines, will silently shut down, starving our people. The power industry is the foundation of our American civilization, from the massive hydroelectric dams and their generators to the hundreds of thousands of miles of power lines that stretch across the continent, to the local substations, to the transformers that hang on the pole down the street from your house, to the breaker box in your basement. All of this will be rendered useless. The electronics we use today are so much more complex and interdependent that the danger of one failure triggering another is higher than ever. We all know America has many enemies, but out of them all, we have to fear the worst. Today, our enemy is more prepared and more desperate than ever. For 25 years, this fallen empire has constantly been shamed by the U.S. and its allies. But ever since Putin rose to power more than 15 years ago, Russia has been recuperating, covertly scheming new ways to get back into the game and take over the world. 
its GDP doubled for oil exports, and for a while, Russia felt like a great power again, until the Ukrainian crisis broke out, and more than 50% of Russia's gas export was halted as the pipeline network that delivered the gas load to Europe was on Ukrainian territory. That's when Putin decided to play tough and demand almost double the gas price for the EU members who still depended on Russian energy. Threatening to cut off the gas supply if they didn't pay, this insane energy blackmail enraged the European Union, who found a way to reassure the member countries that world oil reserves from the US and its allies will support a gas supply deficit for a full 90 days. The crash in oil prices in the 80s destroyed the Soviet Union and kick-started its ultimate collapse in 1991. But the crisis they are facing now is far worse than any country has ever experienced. Going to war against the world to reclaim their oil and gas supremacy is something they can no longer afford to do. They're already too poor for that. Their only chance to win back territory is if America and its energy sector suddenly fall to the ground with no means of getting back up for the next decade. If that doesn't happen somehow, Putin will have to find a way to keep 140 million Russian people from going hungry and from overthrowing.